Russia's latest rocket unveiling versus Elon Musk's SpaceX Falcon 9. Strap in, because this is AlphaTech. Russia's space czar, Yuri Borisov, recently unleashed a bombshell claim. Their new rocket will make Falcon 9 look like yesterday's news. But can they really pull it off? Borisov's boasting knows no bounds. He's touting a reusable first stage that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with SpaceX's flagship Falcon 9. But hold your rocket fuel, folks. Is this just a case of cosmic bravado? Let's break it down. Russia's space program has seen better days, with funding woes and geopolitical tensions casting a shadow over its stellar ambitions. But Borisov's confidence is unshakable, as he claims their new rocket could be reused a jaw-dropping 100 times. Now, that's a bold claim, but forgive my skepticism. Falcon 9 has been waltzing through the cosmos, racking up reuse records like nobody's business. Can Russia's rocket really keep up? Borisov's pitch sounds like music to the ears of proud Russians, echoing their nation's historic dominance in space. But let's not shoot for the moon just yet. There's more to this cosmic clash than meets the eye. Falcon 9 isn't just any rocket, it's a trailblazer, a pioneer in the age of reusable spaceflight. With over a decade of successful launches under its belt, SpaceX has rewritten the playbook for reaching the stars. Can Russia's new rocket soar to similar heights? SpaceX's track record speaks volumes. Falcon 9 has danced through the skies, delivering payloads with pinpoint precision and sticking landings like a seasoned pro. Can Russia's rocket match this stellar performance? Borisov's bravado may have sparked headlines, but let's not count out the underdog just yet. After all, in the cosmos, anything is possible. But will Russia's rocket launch them to new heights, or will Falcon 9 continue to reign supreme? Elon Musk, the head of SpaceX, seems unfazed by Russia's bold claims. In fact, he tweeted a simple, bring it on, in response, a clear sign of his confidence in Falcon 9's capabilities. And who can blame him? SpaceX has smashed records left and right, achievements that no one else has even come close to. Clearly, Russia is reaching for the stars with their dreams, but are they grounded in reality? Borisov's words may sound impressive, but they're more like a smokescreen to hide Russia's struggling rocket launch program. It's no secret that SpaceX has been launching rockets at a blistering pace, while Russia has lagged behind. Borisov's attempts to save face only highlight how out of touch he is with the realities of the space industry. Now let's talk about the new rocket that Russia is boasting about, the Amor rocket. But here's the kicker, it's not actually new at all. This medium weight rocket has been in use since 2020 by Russia's space agency, Roscosmos. And guess what? It bears a striking resemblance to SpaceX's Falcon 9. From the design to the landing legs, fins and heat shield grids, it's clear where Russia drew its inspiration. Despite being hyped up for the past four years, the Amer rocket has yet to take flight. Russian officials claim it'll be a game changer, capable of lifting hefty payloads into low Earth orbit at a fraction of the cost of Falcon 9. But until it actually materializes, it's just another promise in a long line of delays. Despite all the talk, there's been radio silence on the progress of the Amur rocket. In fact, Borisov hinted recently that its first launch might be pushed back to 2028 or even 2029. And if you're familiar with the rocket launch industry, you know what that means. No hardware, no plans, just speculation. The Amur rocket might just remain a concept forever. It's a bitter pill to swallow, but it seems Russia has finally realized that if you can't beat them, join them. Their new design for a reusable booster is a clear nod to SpaceX's success. But alas, no flights until at least 2026 means they're already 15 years behind Falcon 9. Talk about playing catch-up. Space reporter Eric Bearer summed it up perfectly. Russia's new rocket is in for a long haul if it wants to even come close to SpaceX's achievements. Let's put it into perspective. It took SpaceX over five years to nail down the art of landing initial stages, another five years to start reusing them regularly, and a whopping 14 years to hit the milestone of 20 flights with a single Falcon 9 rocket. So even if Russia manages to get the Amur vehicle off the ground in the near future, they're looking at decades of hard work before they can catch up. By the time they reach SpaceX's level, who knows what innovations Elon Musk and his team will have cooked up. It's like bringing a slingshot to a laser gunfight. Despite any milestones Russia may achieve, the harsh truth remains. They'll always be playing catch-up to SpaceX, 
Even with their recent success in landing the Angra rocket, it's a vehicle straight out of the 90s, only capable of launching mock payloads into Earth orbit. Meanwhile, Falcon 9 is dominating the scene, with an impressive 334 launches to date, boasting a staggering 300 successful landings and 271 reused boosters. In the first quarter of this year alone, SpaceX pulled off 39 Falcon 9 launches, inching closer to their goal of 148 launches for the year. And let's talk about reusability. Falcon 9 recently landed its booster for the 20th time, setting yet another record. SpaceX isn't just breaking records, they're shattering expectations. They're aiming for certification for 40 landings, possibly even more. The space industry is buzzing with excitement, as no other rocket company has come close to achieving this feat. Roscosmos officials seem content to bury their heads in the sand. Do they still believe they hold the key to the cosmos? It's time to face the music. Russia's golden age in space exploration is long gone. Since the collapse of the Soviet Union, Russia's space program has been running on pragmatism, chasing cash with tried and tested technology. They've held onto dreams of leadership in the commercial launch market, but SpaceX's relentless pursuit of innovation and cost reduction through rocket reuse has propelled it to the forefront, possibly even making it the most profitable player in the game. The Falcon 9 stands as a testament to SpaceX's dominance, with a track record that speaks for itself. Roscosmos, Russia's space agency, can no longer ignore the SpaceX threat they once dismissed. They're scrambling to slash launch costs by 20% and hop on the rocket reuse bandwagon, but they're playing catch-up in a game where SpaceX is already light years ahead. Many Russians, envious of Elon Musk's success, are quick to point out his reliance on government support, technical assistance from NASA, and billions in subsidies. But let's not forget that government funding is the lifeblood of the aerospace industry worldwide, from the US to Europe, China, Japan, and India. What sets SpaceX apart is Musk's relentless drive, fueled by his passion for exploration and innovation. While Roscosmos still has rockets in its arsenal for space missions, it's clear that their reliance on aging technology is holding them back. The Soyuz and Proton rockets, both dating back to the 1960s, may have undergone upgrades, but they pale in comparison to newly developed launch systems. Russia is indeed researching new rocket lines, but economic challenges, compounded by geopolitical tensions, cast a shadow of uncertainty over their space ambitions. In the face of these challenges, Roscosmos is finding itself increasingly sidelined. Borisov, the agency head, has even admitted that attention has shifted more towards military matters than space exploration. It's a sobering reality check for a nation that once led the space race. Thanks for watching, please like the video, press the subscribe button, and also drop your thoughts in the comment section.